Homa. This in Kiswahili means fever, usually malaria. In Africa, a child dies from malaria every 30 seconds. We desperately need a new generation of drugs that are both affordable and effective and very safe for the hundreds of millions of people who live with malaria every day. Malaria is the biggest killer in Zanzibar. I treat more than 1,000 children every month for malaria. Malaria is a disease caused by a parasite and transmitted to humans by mosquitoes. The parasite enters the body when the hungry mosquito bites. Once in, it attacks the liver and the red blood cells which then distribute it, infecting the kidney, the spleen and sometimes the brain. It can kill within 24 hours. Malaria claims a million or more lives every year and the death toll is rising. This is Delhi, and this is Dr. Chris Henschel. Chris is from the Medicines for Malaria Venture, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to helping develop treatments for malaria. He's here on a quest to find a new drug to fight the disease. Malaria has been eradicated in the West and research into new treatments largely ignored. Chris is here to change this. He's in search of a new anti-malarial, a treatment that the people in the poorest countries can afford. I'm here in India and like many travelers I'm going to take an anti-malaria pill. These pills, they cost quite a lot, uh, maybe as much as forty dollars a week for continuous use. I can easily afford this, but for many people in the developing world, this kind of cost is simply unaffordable. People in the developing world have to rely on old, much cheaper drugs. Unfortunately, these old drugs are really not very effective nowadays. My name is Caroline Maxwell and this is Morhaza. Morhaza is renowned for two things, for its oranges and for its malaria. I've lived here for seven years and I live here with my Tanzanian husband and three children and I work on a malaria related research projects. When I started working on malaria it seemed like a very important and interesting thing to work on and then the more I've worked on it and the more I've lived here and the more I realise how terribly it affects the lives of the people who have to live with it. Joseph Simon is 10 months old and has malaria. His mother, Shida, knows the symptoms all too well. In the few months Joseph has been alive, he has had the disease three times. Of the million deaths caused by malaria each year, over 90% will be children in Africa. Children just like Joseph. The parasite is most dangerous in small, weak bodies. The under fives are the most vulnerable. 
Malaria kills more young children in Africa than any other disease. We're doing a study on the effect of insecticide-treated mosquito nets on malaria in different villages in this district. And today we're going to a village called Kwakibuyu where we're going to be checking some of the children to see whether they have malaria parasites, whether they've got enlarged spleens or whether they're anemic, whether they've got a temperature today. The village, it's got about a population of about 1,200 people and most of them are subsistence farmers, although there's also a small Quran school as well in the village. It's got very, it really doesn't have any medical care in the village apart from traditional healers. There's one shop which sells paracetamol or aspirin and apart from that they go to the nearest dispensary if they're ill which is about an hour and a half's walk. Let's see where, where the last member of the team who I've forgotten is, Shamim. <laughs> Hi Shamim and Joe. Oh, they're very pleased. She, she's much more entertaining than I am. <laughs> All the children used to say hello, Carolina. Now they say hello, Shamim. <laughs> Hi, right, we're ready to go now. <laughs> 